And you've also established a number of other um, organizations, several of which are active in the humanitarian field. One of the priorities of the Humanitarian Forum is to advocate for the full participation of national NGOs in humanitarian situations. Um, what's been your experience of trying to involve and include and support women's groups at national and local level as you strengthen the collective voice of civil society? Thank you. I'm Nasser Samasuda. 1996, I visited Hajjikara in Damstan. And I discovered that I was ignorant five years after I took my doctor of medicine from Birmingham University. Why? Because I found that the market was run by women. I thought that this is the International Women's Day. Or this is the men's holiday or the men's babysit day. Because they came from a culture where men were dominating the market. But I learned that woman has a very strong character, compassion, and a driver of the family, society, community, and the state. Have to play a very, very essential, or just an important, essential role. I am coming from the background of empowering localism versus globalism, or localism and globalism can marry one another, then you can have something else. <laughs> I would like to have something called uh, social philanthropy. Social philanthropy. It's a new technology because you people on this high level table knows more uh, than, I'm, than I'm talking about. Social philanthropy should be run by the local community driven by the local community with compassion. Because philanthropy is innovation, innovation is local, and needs is the mother of innovation. And the driver of the innovation is the woman in the country. So that is my mother, my wife, your daughter, your sister. No, who can we share? No, no, no. <laughs> no you, don't, you don't share my daughter. No, no, no. <laughs> You can share the platform. <laughs> you see, because this kind of compassion coming from the woman's side is extremely important in business, is extremely important in building any society that we are living in. So, partnership coming from, uh, some of you have talked about partnership, which is very, very essential. But partnership for me, is something which has to be equal. An equal footage. But the local community play a major role because they have the know-how, they have the knowledge base, and better solution. And the donor community can provide them with the fund and to get for them and train them on equal footage. That's why we our role and our drive is to support local initiatives, not only local society. There's an initiative for sight run by youth, women, and diaspora community. Last point, I'm going to talk about diaspora community. Let us look at the diaspora community as the source of empowerment of the local society on the original homeland. We can take the example of Somalia, with the remittance of money from the diaspora community in Europe, in America, and different countries. They still have it. And it's semi-fragile state, which is like go, uh, or semi-failing state, is go from the failing state into fragile uh, state. When you look at a country, you are born like uh, South Sudan. There's a drought now in South Sudan because of the conflict. But they don't have a strong diaspora community to support them. That's why we need to empower the diaspora community in different countries to bring back the intermediate technology and the remittance to support the local community, which is essential for building any state. A state, no matter how big the budget, how is the number of the population, without strong, stable society, is a fragile state. But turn it into a failing state once somebody infiltrated a small territory. Thank you.